we are taking uh, mcq questions basic on artificial intelligence who is the father of artificial intelligence that is who started it means has a lot of contribution in starting it who coined this word there were there were many people actually but the credit goes to john mccarthy the answer of father of artificial intelligence is john mccarthy so he is the father of artificial intelligence so mccarthy he coined the term artificial intelligence actually in 1955 but in famous dartmouth conference in summer 1956 it actually started as a proper field and you know where it is now 1956 artificial intelligence john mccarthy what are the main goals of ai so ai is all about making the machines intelligent right the answer is to create expert system and to implement human intelligence in machines expert system is those system which are expert like us because if we are expert in some subject then other people are knowing less than us we can react we can research we can uh, behave so this is both of the answer because machines are just elect- electronic electrics and wires so we need to put intelligence in some or the other way the way is artificial intelligence so there are so many ways here you see here robotics machine learning nlp that is natural language processing perception knowledge cognitive system neural networks and planning which of the following areas can contribute to build an intelligent system so to make a system intelligent like us like human being like human brain can think so there are various field which can contribute philosophy biology sociology all of these the answer is all of these is philosophy sociology mathematics is lot lot mathematics in involved biology neuron science psychology computer science all these because in computer science you have a subject of ai okay so all these combined together they build an intelligent system computer program with ai cannot answer the generic questions it is meant to solve so we are making a computer program with ai and we are trying to solve a generic question that is a naive no why so basic question that is where are you going what are you eating like this so the answer here is false it can answer cannot is false so here is the difference of programming without ai and programming with ai so a computer program with ai can answer the generic questions it is meant to solve okay it can be easy question it can be complicated it can be complex it is able to solve it which of the following is not the type of ai so in order to find type of ai there are two categories we would like to divide it because the question may be asked in a different way also so the answer here is unlimited memory for this that is the b but let me show you the types of intel artificial intelligence this can be divided into two broad categories that is based on cap- capabilities that is it can be narrow ai super ai and general ai but when we are talking about the types of artificial intelligence on the basis of functionalities based on functionalities it will be reactive machine limited memory theory of mind and self awareness so if you see in this question the b part is unlimited memory it should be limited memory that is why b is the answer here which of the following is an application of ai 
application of artificial intelligence so all of these all of these falls in the application area of ai finance data security social media automotive oh, this you know tesla without uh, or driverless cars robotics entertainment e-commerce education agriculture transport healthcare and astronomy gaming all of these in which university the first demonstration of ai program run so the first program which actually employed ai or called can be called as a proper ai demonstration program in which university so before i answer this question let me give you an idea about cmu carnegie mellon university and stanford university these are big universities means giants and they always have you know a kind of very sweet uh, competition who is going to invent who is going to discover who is going to have more patents etc but for this carnegie mellon university this is the still the so john mccarthy coined the term artificial intelligence demonstration of the first running ai program at cmu carnegie mellon university expert ease was developed under the direction of expert ease expert these are all the you know the you know, basic building blocks of ai what we have so expert means the machine is acting as an expert means you ask and the machine is going to answer the answer here is donald michi donald michi so expert ease was developed under the direction of donald michi he is donald michi what is artificial intelligence so artificial intelligence is all about making machine intelligent like human human brain can think machine should also think like humans if uh, you go to gmail and now you type as soon just you type as soon it will uh, by itself will give as, as soon as possible this is coming from nlp that is you have made the machine so intelligent software so intelligent it is giving you the the purpose what you might have think oh my work can be done by some other because ai is, is to make things work automatically through which machine without using human aid effort machine will give the result with just giving input from human this means the system of machine will act as per the requirement because humans have emotions they have feelings but artificial intelligence is a big subject consisting of machine learning speech vision nlp expert system planning optimization and robotics which of the following is a component of an expert system so expert system was all as i said basic building blocks of the present ai we have so you are talking to a system and actually it's an expert system so i'll show you the picture and you will realize that what is the answer the answer is d here all of the above so these are the components of an expert system in ai human expert knowledge engineer there will be a knowledge base and there will be inference from this knowledge base that is called inference engine then we have the interface and this interface is for the user he may not be an expert so we have in inference engine we have knowledge base user interface as well okay so all options are correct in this case artificial intelligence is a way of is a way of see it's basically basically making a machine intelligent so making a computer computer also falls in this category a computer controlled robot is also there software things intelligently because it is all about the pattern recognition and you have different kind of work that can be done by human being that that should be done by a machine the answer is d making computer a computer controlled robot software things intelligently all of the above because what we can do machine should do what we can make machine should make A major thrust of AI is in the development of computer functions associated with human intelligence. Thrust means putting power, 
are giving more importance. This is A. Yes, the major thrust of AI is indeed the development of computer functions associated with human intelligence. It's true because you know, the limitation of human brain is human brain only. We stop thinking and other people start from there. We haven't thought of mobile a mobile cell phone 30 years back. But the movie movies were showing. Today what movies are showing, maybe it is possible. And we have the space uh, vacation started. Okay. So this is artificial intelligence. The major thrust of AI is indeed all these associated with human intelligence, reasoning, learning, problem, problem solving. Which of the following areas can not contribute to build an intelligent system? So in order to make an intelligent system, you need neuron science, you need math, you need computer science. But geology, because geology is all about rock, soil, different, you know, it's a, geo means earth. So how this, you can apply AI in geology. But geology will make an intelligent system, we doubt it. So all this geology can contribute to build an uh, intelligent system, we right now don't think so. The maths is very important, computer science, psychology, philosophy, sociology, neuron science, biology, all these are making a building or contributing for an intelligent system. Geology, not here. So if you take today's course, computer science have a proper subject as AI. How many types of AI is there? artificial intelligence so we just saw a question like this so it depends on what type of question being asked if generally this is asked you just go with four but if it is asked on the basis of capabilities you are going to give answer as three on the basis of functionality it will be four but if it is not being specified just answer four there are four types of artificial intelligence ai technique is a manner to organize and use the knowledge efficiently in such a way that so we are talking about AI technique, organize and use the knowledge efficiently. So how can the, this, any of the AI technique can employ, use this knowledge efficiently, powerfully in a way that is uh, so perceivable and modifiable. So the answer is both A and C. C. Both A and B is correct. So whenever we are talking about knowledge, being used efficiently in an organized manner. So the people who are using it or who have employed it, they must be able to perceive it. Also, any problem is there. It is modified. It can be modified also. The correction of errors can be done. If I just take an example of artificial neural network, you know, for uh, any input, there will be output and then output may be correct, incorrect. So we change the weight and biases. So this is this has to be there and it is there also. In which year John McCarthy coined the term artificial intelligence? So we already talked about this. The answer is John McCarthy. 1956 is officially being named like this. He coined the word earlier. Which of the following is not an application of AI? Is not an application of AI. See, intelligent robots, handwriting recognition, speech recognitions are there. But what about content mining? Right now it is not an application. So all these are the present uh, application. But if uh, an intelligent people, a person like you, they, they want to go in this field, applying the AI, it can be. The traditional way to exit and lisp system is to enter. So Lisp is a programming language. It was you know, co-made by John McCarthy. But uh, you don't have to go to the details. Just remember, whenever this question is asked, the traditional way to exit a Lisp system is to enter. The answer is exit. Exit. When a top level function is entered, the Lisp processor does. So whenever we talk about a function, or even a top-level function, C, C++, Java, any top-level function, for example, in C, you have main, 
then what do we do what this function does it will see but it will input the value it will take the inputs take the operands do the function means what if what for it is made and the result is returned for example a and b it is being given to us two and three five will be re the result the answer is all of the above process that is repeated evaluated and refined is called iterative or iterative process that is repeated evaluated and refined is called iterative because every time it repeats it evaluates itself and then the result gets refined so this is the view or the picture of iterative process Okay, this is this was a very basic kind of uh, MCQs. So we'll go to the detail, detailed and you know, complex questions later. Thank you so much.